Hey, what's up guys? Shane Graham here. Welcome back to another drum lesson. In this video, I'm going to show you five tips that will improve your drumming right away. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and let's jump right in. It is very important that our bodies are loose, not tense, and that we stay relaxed when we play the drums. Aside from standard stretches such as touching your toes, here are a few of my favorite stretches that will make you more limber on the drum set. First stretch I like to begin with is an upper arm and shoulder stretch like this. I'll take my right arm and put it across my body like this. I'll take my left arm, wrap it around my right arm, and I'll feel a stretch from my shoulder area and my upper arm area. Hold it for a few seconds and breathe. Now I'll put my left arm across my body, take my right arm, wrap it around my left arm, and feel that stretch in here again. Breathe. Next, I'll take my right arm, put it behind my back between my shoulder blades, take my left hand, push down on my right elbow, and I feel a nice stretch under the arm right here. Hold it for a few seconds. Switch. Left hand behind the back between the shoulder blades, right hand on top of the elbow, push down. Breathe. Next, we'll stretch our wrists. We'll take our right arm, extend it out, take the left hand, pull back on the right fingers, and we'll feel a nice stretch on the inside of our lower forearm. Now I'll do the left side, left arm out, right hand, pull back on the left fingers, feel a nice stretch on the inside of your lower forearm. Breathe. Now shake it out, make sure your wrists are nice and loose. Next we'll do a stretch incorporating the drumsticks. We want both sticks to be opposite like this, one tip on one side, one tip on the other. We'll hold it underhand, we'll stretch the right side first, we'll take our right hand and we'll go under like this, and you'll feel a nice stretch on the outside of your right arm. You really feel that, especially in this area. Breathe. Back to normal. Take the left side, do the same thing, under. Feel that left side being stretched. Now for the advanced one, do both at the same time, right and left under like this. And you really feel a big stretch. Okay, back to normal. Aside from these stretches, I recommend learning a few yoga stretches or asanas that have been really helpful for me. I would say learn tree pose, downward facing dog, warrior pose, and learn pigeon pose. You can look each of these up on YouTube. I'm not an official yoga trainer, so I wouldn't want to instruct you the wrong way. But look these up and learn them. Go to a yoga studio or do an online class, and this will make you much more limber and you'll feel really good. In addition to stretching, we want to just make sure that we are breathing while we are playing the drums. We don't want to hold our breath. That's going to make things feel tense. We want to just breathe through everything we're doing. So we should practice breathing. There are multiple ways you can do it. You can breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth like this. I like to do it this way. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Just taking a few minutes every day to focus on your breathing will do wonders for you. When we think about what are the most important elements in a groove for popular music that make people want to move and dance, we come to the kick and the snare. The kick is the heartbeat of the song and it has to be felt. The snare is the backbeat. Together those two elements form the meat and potatoes. The cymbals are just the icing on the cake. They just add a little tickle and a sparkle. When we think about mixing ourselves, we want the kick and the snare to be the loudest elements in the mix, with the cymbals being underneath them providing a nice blanket for them. There are many different ways we can play the hi-hat that will add depth and musicality to our playing. One way is to play eighth notes on the hi-hat but emphasize the quarter note. This is one of my favorite ways to phrase the hi-hat. The second way is to emphasize the upbeat which will give the groove a more dancey feel. This phrasing is really good for hip-hop and R&B grooves. Another element we can add to our hi-hat playing is to open and close the hi-hat. This is used a lot in funk music and can add a really cool effect to a groove. Let me demonstrate these for you now. Now this involves a downstroke and an upstroke, like this. It also could be called the molar whip. Now, this is almost like a flam because we open it 
and then we close it with our foot right after. It's not at the same exact time. Hit the hi-hat, open it, and then close it with your foot. So this takes a little bit of work. But this can be a really cool effect. And a groove, it sounds like this. Whether you are creating or learning somebody else's part, it is very helpful to sing the idea or fill to internalize it. Pretty much if you can sing it, you can play it. I use this concept all the time with my students. I like to create vocables that represent sounds on the drum set, including dynamics. For snare, I would say something like ducka. If I was doing a roll on the snare, I would say something like this. Ducka, 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 ga. And the ga would be the accent at the end of the phrase. I will demonstrate that for you. Now if I'm doing a fill on the drum set, like bat, boom, gaka, boom, that would be this. A really useful tool for creativity is just to make up your own fill. So just sing an idea. Let's say da 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 da. Now let me bring that to the drum set. Now let's orchestrate it. One more. Da 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 da. Bring it to the drum set. And it's endless and endless. I guarantee you'll create something new you've never played before. So give it a shot. It is an extremely invaluable tool to record yourself and listen back. This is one of the fastest ways to grow, not only on the drum set, but any musical instrument in general. We might think we sound one way, but the recording will reveal how we truly sound. Haha. <laughs> this is a truly humbling experience. I can't recommend this tip enough. Whether you record yourself on a phone using a voice memo or a DAW, a digital audio workstation, it doesn't matter. The important thing is just to record yourself. Other than these tips, I strongly encourage you to learn and play along to your favorite songs as close as you can. When not creating or playing to music, always practice with a metronome. It is very helpful to work out of books, but nothing beats playing with real musicians, so make sure you do that too. Comment below with tips that have helped you with your drumming. Well that's it for this lesson. I hope you have learned something useful from this video. Good luck on your musical journey. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.